After having my Ambonic win 600 for about a week now and having spent an awful lot of time playing on it whilst being down with COVID, I was hoping to share my own user experience and some tips and tricks on how you could better improve your own PC gaming experience with your Win600 in Windows. Without further ado, let's start with opinions. Being ill for the last couple of days, I found the device really comfortable to use whilst in bed, be it lying on your back or on your sides. The size and weight of Win600 felt good in my hands and I never really had issues gaming on it despite its 6 inch screen. However, one of the things I wish Emblick had done was to add the rip pattern design that they had on their other product, RG503, to make it slightly more grippier to hold. As how other reviewers have pointed out, D-pad, face, shoulders and trigger buttons have a nice feel to them, but the analog stick placement might not have been ideal with it being placed further away from the screen when its shell is angled outwards. Coupled with the fact that the sticks are rather recessed to keep the device flush. It did have me putting my thumb in an awkward position initially. I did however get past this issue by adding some spare switch analog caps I had laying around that had greatly improved my own experience. The other thing I felt was that the D-pad was a tad notchy compared to the RG503, which had a better, much better roll when in use. Apart from Windows, it is also nice knowing that Win600 supports multiple boot options such as SteamOS and Batucera. I'm personally looking forward to trying those out in the future, but for the purpose of this video, I will only be sticking with Windows 10. Oh, before I actually forget, wake from sleep and resuming my game from where I left off works great here, something I cannot say the same about for many of my other Windows-based handhelds. Of course, that's not all to say that Ambonic has knocked it out of the park with some missed opportunities such as including a micro SD card slot and dual channel RAM. But considering that this is Ambonic's first x86 handheld, Win600 to me feels like a rather well-built device overall. Alright. Moving on now to some tips and tricks I have applied to my own device within Windows 10. The things that I have done on my Win600 are changing out on-screen keyboard using Lulex Replace OSK, injecting 40Hz refresh rate using custom resolution utility, setting the device to 12 watt TDP using Project SBC's power control panel, and last but not least, enabling GPU scaling within AMD Adrenaline. Links for the above mentioned four items can be found in the description below. To begin with, go to Lulac23's GitHub page and download Replace OSK 2.4. Once the download is complete, run the batch file and allow it to complete installation on its own. Once this is done, Restart your device and the new keyboard layout should appear whenever you hit the keyboard button. Now for 40Hz refresh panel, download custom resolution utility and run the app. Under detailed resolution, choose add and change the refresh rate to 40Hz and restart the device. When this is complete, you should be able to see this under monitor settings and monitors tab under display adapter properties. You can also add 540p resolution by repeating the process but by changing the values of active, horizontal and vertical lines instead. Within AMD Adrenaline, do ensure that GPU scaling and scaling mode is set to enable and full panel respectively. 
This is so that the game fills up the screen when you change its resolution in game. I had personally found setting the device at 12W TDP being more than sufficient in most of the games that I have installed on my device. With Project SBC's tool, I'm able to easily make such changes on the fly with its supporting gamepad key combo. Holding down left button, right button, and left launches the quick access manual sidebar. Do note that Project SPC is still working on this and do check his GitHub page often for newer versions. With this, I hope you found this video informative and useful in any way, and I'll see you in the next video.